हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज अनूप सिंह यू आर वॉचिंग एरोटेक एडवांस यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज एयर कप डिजाइन सो इन एयर कप डिजाइन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन सो दैट इज अवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर बिकॉज चैप्टर नंबर वन इज अ लिटल बिट बिग चैप्टर रिलेटेड टू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एयर कप डिजाइन so without wasting much time let's start this video so guys <clears throat> the first i'm going to show you the syllabus of chapter number 1 that is introduction so here i have mentioned the topic everything most of all the syllabus of chapter number 1 introduction so first we are going to see about the purpose and scope of the airplane design and then we are going to see about the stages in airplane design so in airplane design we are going to see also about the project feasibility study then premst design and then we are going to see the design project so guys this thing is very important at the initial level to understand the aircraft design process so this purpose is very important to understand understand then second that is 1.3 that is related to the classification of the airplane that is uh, i have already made one video dedicated video uh, you can find out but in this case we are going to see some in deep understand little bit deep study about the classification of airplanes and then we are going to see about the classification of airplanes according to the function guys according to the function so this topic is also very important then so up to here we are going to see in lecture 1 today is the lecture 1 of the air cup design first chapter introduction but we are going to see the remaining topic remaining topic if you see that is if you see here uh, what i have mentioned classification of airplanes according to the configuration so in configuration but which configuration let's see classification of airplane based on the wing configuration that is the first then second is based on the fuselage then third one is based on the horizontal stabilizer and the fourth one is based on the number of engines and their location so guys the classification of the in airplanes according to the uh, uh, co configuration that is also a very important topic uh, of aircraft design so that is we are going to see and then the next one is 1.6 that is factor affecting the configuration so overall we know most of all the things related to the aircraft design at the initial level but which factor is affecting by the configuration that is also important so in that case we are going to see about aerodynamics forces that is aerodynamics consideration then we are going to see low structural weight then layout peculiarity then manufacturing processes and last one is cost and operational economics so guys this is the full syllabus of first chapter that is introduction of aircraft design so this portion this all portion we are going to see in a lecture 2 so today is our lecture 1 and we are going to start the topic first the purpose and scope of the airplane design so guys try to understand what is the purpose actually <coughs> this topic is related to the design of an airplane is a complex design task we already knows and it is generally involves some of the points what i have mentioned that is obtaining the specifications of the airplane selecting the types and determining the geometrical parameter then second point is related to selection of the power point that is important otherwise it is difficult to find out the thrust parameter and that is important to fly the aircraft then third one is a structural design and working out details of construction fourth one is fabrication of prototype and last one is a determination of airplane performance stability and structural integrity from the flight test so guys this is a very important five points in the case of purpose and scope of the airplane design so everyone should know about this because many of the times the students don't know what is the purpose and scope of the airplane design or you can say aircraft design 
so this is a important guys then we are going to see the next <coughs> next is about stage in the airplane design stage in the airplane design actually the design process is divided into the three stages which three stages the first one is that project feasibility study second one is pre prim design and third one is design project so guys this is the design process this is the, the stages of the design process you should aware then you can start the designing of aircraft otherwise the designing of aircraft is not a simple task so this is i hope so you understand the stages of airplane design is required then we are going to see what is the project feasibility study because without uh, knowing the feasibility we can't start the project to design the aircraft or airplane so let's see what's the study we are going to do in this case we are going to do the aim of this study to involve a complete setup of specification for the airplane and it's involve the following steps what i have mentioned here so let's see what's the step is required to set up the specification for the airplane before starting this pro study or process let's see the first point is comprehensive market survey to assess the number of planes needed means first we are going to do some research how many numbers of airplane is required in the market then do the study related to the operating condition for the proposed airplane then we move for third point that is to study of the relevant desire requirement as a laid down by the civil and military regulating agency means this third point is related to what is the requirement what is the design requirement functioning requirement on the base of that civil and military agency but having under the regulations the fourth point is related to evaluations of exiting designs of similar airplane and possibility of incorporating new concept so this is a point the remaining point is left in case of project feasibilities so i hope so you guys are understand that this four point is very simple point that is required before starting the designing of airplane uh, understands let's see the remaining points of project feasibility study the remaining point collection of data on relevant power point that is also required because we want to choose the uh, uh, proper pra power plant of a, of a aircraft then lay, laying down prim specification which consists of the following which following data we required performance data is required in order to start the initial specification or to set the initial specification of aircraft design so the first one is para performance parameter that is very important to set the initial specification that is in the in the performance first one is maximum speed what is the maximum speed of the aircraft what is the maximum rate of climb what is the range what is the endurance what is the rate of turn what is the rate of uh, rate of radius then take off performance landing performance and his field length that is a performance data required in the initial specification so that is need to set then payload how what is the payload of particular aircraft is required then third one is that operating condition of what is the operating condition at particular altitude or maybe at desired location then last one is a maneuverability that is important because the capability of maneuverability of different different aircraft is different so this is about the very important points was the laying down the prim specification which consists of the uh, following so guys this is about project feasibility study before starting the designing process of aircraft i hope so you guys are understand all six point of this project feasibility study so guys don't worry the first chapter is introduction this is full of theory uh, don't be bored see the whole uh, lecture mind lecture because is very important to complete for your preparation i know it is little bit boring but is very important i am trying my best whatever i am prepared the content that is very useful for you and it's very useful for your exam preparation 
understand that's the reason i prepared i given a lots of effort to prepare the material like this ppt so you guys are easily prepared this all the contents and complete the chapter of aircraft design generally aircraft design in the last year students are taking maybe is is a uh, elective subject or maybe in some of the universities a uh, mandatory subject so guys don't skip the video see the whole contain what i am going to teach you okay so next we are going to see the next is about the prim design so guys let's try to understand what is there in the prim design so this design if you see here that this design the this stage of the design process aim to producing a brochure containing prim drawing and stating the estimating operational capability of the airplane on the previous slide you guys are see the prim data understand before starting so that is required in order to draw the primary sketch of the requirement and then you can use this uh, use this data for seeking the approval for the manufacturer or the customer and this stage including the following steps so which steps is there to seeking all the datas in order to support the prim design so let's see what's the primary data is we need to seek that is prim weight estimation that is very important and that is a big chapter also in our aircraft design subject so let's see the second in that case second point is that selection of geometrical parameters of main components based on the design criteria geometrical parameters see without geometrical parameters we can't design any component so obviously we required that then third one is selection of power plant without proper selection the performance of the aircraft is poor and nobody are going to purchase also fourth one is arrangement of equipments and control system that is the very important points what i need to convey in the 1.2.1 that is prim design so i hope so you guys are understand what the thing is required in this stage to understand the prim design okay so let's see the next one that is design project guys design project now this is a stage to decide the what is your project and how to design so let's see in this case after the deciding this prim design has been approved by the manufacturer and customer this is a next step guys after the prim design has been approved by the manufacturer and customer the detailed design study detailed design study are carried out and in this stage having the following step so let's see which steps is there to complete this detailed designing so first one is if you see the wind tunnel and structural testing on the models of airplane configuration arrived after the prim design stage so everyone is know the requirement of a wind tunnel testing a structural testing in order to understand the aerodynamics analysis and structural analysis to set up the our prim design stage then second one is mock up the what is there in the mock up the mock up is that the full scale model the full scale model of the airplane or its important sections that help in what help in efficient layout of the structural component equipments and second is checking the checking the clearance firing angle of the guns and visibility so in this big and big analysis we are doing only in mock up understand so because in this case we required the full scale model of the airplane so that is very important then in this case then if we can find out complete wind tunnel testings of the approved conf uh, configuration is required in order to proceed the, this third point and we know currently cfd is very popular we knows that cfd is a very popular play an important role in order to reducing the number of test and we are reducing our of time also our cost also understand so third steps we are generally taking in order to reduce our effort understand and result whatever the result we are uh, in cfd getting we are actually solving the equation governing governing equation related to the fluid flow numerically and result provides flow pattern track coefficient leaf coefficient moment coefficient pressure distribution etc 
and through this result may not be very accurate at high angle of attack they are generally accurate near the design point understand near to the design point not much accurate but further they provide informations on the effect of small changes in the geometrical parameter on the flow field and permit the parametric study so let's see which parametric study so that is we are going to decide in the detailed study that is of one chapter in the aircraft design and the the fourth one is that preparation of the detailed drawing and fifth one is final selection of the power plant power plant and sixth one is calculation uh, of a cg shift performance cg shift performance and stability and uh, stability so these steps of calculation is required and then next step is required fabrication of the prototype so this is a last step in order to do the testing of the flight so guys i hope so you guys are understand in detail about design project so this is the seven step is that to understand the design project and i hope so you guys are understand which the step is required to complete this design project this is not a simple task design project is a huge task guys huge task and it is required lots of time so this is about the design point let's see classification of airplanes so guys i am going little bit fast because uh, we i already explained so much things related to airplane classification of airplanes this is also a little bit lengthy so here whatever i put it the content that is helpful to the student to crack down the most of the questions and understanding about the classification of airplanes so let's see in this stage at this stage it's helpful to know about the different types of the airplane that's the reason we are learning the classification of airplane but how it is classified actually the airplane is classified is generally based on the purpose of of the airplane second one is the configuration and third one is design mac number that is i am not mention in my previous video related to design mac number but this is a also a parameters that is design mac number that is subsonic flight supersonic flight hypersonic flight transonic flight so that is also a very important parameters to classify the different types of airplane so this is about a classification let's see about the classification of airplanes according to the function so this is a first point to understand how we are categorize or how we are classified the airplane according to the function so let's see what is the function there are two main functions of the airplanes that we already know the civil and military the civil airplanes are categorized as the passenger cargo agriculture sports and ambulance purposes understand but what about the military airplanes military airplanes is categorized by the fighter bombers interceptors then resonance airplane for logistic supports like troop carriers or rescue mission then military airplanes are often designed to caters to more than one roles what types of one roles more than one roles that is fighter bomber or interceptor uh, uh, fighter so this is a main function main function of the aircraft with the help of that we are classifying so let's see the remaining point the remaining point if we see the civil <coughs> so that is about uh, classification of the function by the function now we are going to see about this next point that is in influence of the function of airplane on the specification or design requirement try to understand what is that means which parameter is or which uh, uh, performance is related to affected the function of the airplane on specification so let's see here i mentioned some point the specification or design requirement of an airplanes are decided by its function obviously we know that the specification or design requirement of an airplane are decided by only and only by its function <coughs> and it can be mentioned that a passenger airplanes should have so what should have so let's see <coughs> the first one is a high level of safety in operation that is first point is requirement second point requirement is adequate payload carrying capacity obviously without that uh, the different category of the aircraft is change 
then third one is economics in the operation so without economic obviously the importance of aircraft is goes down the the fourth one is about comfort level depending on the range and cruise altitude so so this fourth one is related to comfort level so this is the point and then remaining point is also there let's see the remaining point related to influence of the function of airplane the remaining point if you see here the ability to fly in the weather condition and normally encountered on chosen route that is also important the next point is related to ability to use the airfield of intended destination that is also there we can find out so many things are, are related to intended destination so this is about this is about what this is the point about uh related to airplane passenger airplane okay this is related to air passenger this all the point is related to passenger airplane okay let's see for uh bomber airplane so what's the point is there influence of the function of airplane so in case of in case of bomber airplane so guys if you see in bomber airplane was point i mentioned here the influence function is range corresponding to the mission then next one is capacity to carrying and deploy intended bomb load so this is all related to the bomber airplane so guys try to understand first point is the range correspondence in the in in a fighter mission or military mission actually range is important then second one is capacity is also important because is carrying the bomb or payload different different types and third one is high value of speed endurance and ceiling point that is important because without this the military aircraft is nothing understand so high value is required of this parameter and last one is related to adequate protection against the accident fire obviously because if it is little damage of the bomber airplane so it squeezes a big disadvantages or big loss understand so this is about the bomber airplane points related to influence of the function of airplane on specification requirement let's see for interceptor airplane so what is the point in the interceptor airplane the adequate thrust to give rate of climb maximum flight speed and maneuverability so rate of adequate thrust is required in that case for what purpose for this purpose so let's see for ceiling point in this case ceiling point requirement if you see 3 to 4 km above of the con uh, contemporary bombers so this is a mandatory guys if you read about the incentive per uh, airplane so you can find out then ability to fly in the adverse weather condition this is also required point of this category of airplane and the last one is appropriate ornaments so guys this is about the influence of the function of airplane on specification design so here we are seeing the three types of the airplane and we are seeing the all the points related to the influence of the function so i so this is the first lecture guys <clears throat> so i hope so guys you guys are understand the half of the uh, topics of chapter number 1 that is a introductory part introduction part of the aircraft design and i hope so you guys are understand the each and every point and here i made this all the contents accordingly so students can read and understand very simple language i have used and also i explained i hope so you guys are uh, understand each and every point suppose you guys have any doubt and queries you can ask me in the comment box so next lecture we are going to see the remaining syllabus remaining uh, syllabus of the chapter number 1 that is uh, a introduction and i am going to produce each chapter uh, contain uh, or videos in you in my youtube channel so guys don't skip i know this is a theoretical part but very soon you guys are going to see the derivation or equation part okay guys so thank you so much for watching my video